No, oh, he's been he, he yeah. When those guys go ahead in the cage, he's in the cage with them. You know, he goes he goes on the field with them. Um, he does stay engaged with them throughout the whole game. I, I see him talking about. You know, he watches the pitchers. I see him talking about our, our young hitters. You know about what he's seeing with the pitcher. Um, and he's actually he plays. I think he plays the game in his mind when he's out there. You know, like um, I see him sometimes with a bat in his hand. You know. Uh, yeah, and just kind of going through you know, scenarios, you know, if he's hitting. So uh, he's definitely engaged, you know, every day, and he's working hard every day to get back. So uh, that's good. And hopefully, we ho like I said, hopefully um, he starts running here, you know, soon. I think, you know, I heard he might possibly do a little jogging today, um, and he gets back, and uh, we we get him out on rehab assignment, and get him back. For a guy like that, once he is cleared to go to playing games. Because it's been a while, do you think he would need a lot of time to get into like baseball game shape, or he sort of as a veteran, you're not that worried about the swing? Uh, I, well, because he's been swinging a lot and he's been doing extra hitting, um, I think it's just a matter of, of the timing of his hitting. And he's you know, he's a guy that he understands hitting really well. He knows he's got to be on time. Um, you know, so it's just a matter of time. You know, I mean. He might need, you know, 15 at bats or so to get to get going. So, um, but the, the the biggest thing the biggest thing with him is to make sure that um, his calf is good, that he can go out and play left field. You know, he might DH some, um, but we you know we need him go out and field and play play the field and, and run around the base and see how he does. You guys have had a handful of games here lately where you haven't drawn any walks. Uh, do you feel like that's a reflection of the pitching you face, or do you feel like? I know you talk so much about Chase and, and that. Do you feel like guys are expanding and not working the count as much as they could? I, I think it's a combination of both, but we we had had some pitchers. Uh, perfect example yesterday, Smiley's been around the plate. I mean, he, you know, and um, he'll get you in swing mode. You know, um, so uh, but uh, you know, Pittsburgh. We played you know a series in Pittsburgh where those guys, you know, coming into them, you know, we knew they don't walk a whole lot of a lot of guys neither. So um, so we got to we got to be ready to hit. You know, and and I say this because. As a hitter, you, you want to hit first and walk second. You really do. I mean, you go up there, you go up there to hit, 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 hit. And if the pitch is not there, then you got to take it. So I don't, you know, the walks are great. I love when they walk. I really do. But I want them to hit. You know, get a, get a good pitch to hit and try to drive the ball. I mean, that's that's what it's all about, you know. So, um, you know, I'm not I'm not concerned that we're not walking. A lot of it has to do with the pitching. Um, but if they are going to walk, you take your walks, you know, and, and get on base for the next guy. Early, early in the season, you were facing some tough lefties. You kind of took him out of the lineup to work on some things. And then last night, you had two hits against lefties. Where do you see him against lefties and how he's approached that? His base has been great. He really has. He's got a lot better. I mean, in, in New York, he, you know, he had a couple of that bats against lefties. You know, he drove in a big run for us you know, um, into all left field. The whole thing was getting his legs underneath him. You know, that's what we really wanted to work on. You know, he flies open a little bit against left left handed pitchers. Um, we talked to him about staying in it, but the biggest thing was his legs, you know, using his legs um, and trying to drive the ball left center field. He, he's, he worked on it. We, we got him back to where we feel like he needs to be, and he's smoking some balls over the left center field, left field, uh, staying on balls, and, and it, it, it gives him that much more time to get to the ball inside, too, as well, you know, as he got a base hit yesterday, you know, to the right side. So, um, yeah, he's, do, he's doing really well. You know, the, 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 thing, the thing that we're getting really good at, our young guys, is they start to understand, you know, more and more. So it doesn't take them as long a time as, as it normally does to get through to them. Um, we see something, we explain it to them, we work on it, and they start, they get it right away, and that's that's awesome. So I am I am seeing some some progress in, in what we're trying to tell them and how they're going about their business. And a lot of times, they're doing it on their own. Like, you know, he'll come back and, you know, and he'll come back and the first thing he says, I didn't use my legs. I gotta get in my legs. Beautiful. And the fact that you thought about it and you're thinking about it, that, that's that's a big step. You know, and they're all doing that. You know, uh, uh, K Bear. You know, we talked to CJ a lot. You know about chasing and you know about swinging strikes. And he'll he'll be the first. first you know, he'll come right up to you and say, "Man, I, I chased a, a bad pitch. I got to get the ball. You know, up in the zone. I can't. You know." So uh, the recognition is is there. Now the consistency has is, got to get better. And once these guys get consistent. You'll start seeing some, you'll start seeing results, and you know right now Louis seeing results, K Bear seeing results, you know uh, Robles, you know talk to him about standing above the baseball when he does that, you know he, he's done well, and um, and he's starting to see a little bit of results, so it's good, you know it's good for these guys, and you know it keeps them engaged. You know I always talk about these guys, you know sometimes they they go adrift, um, for the most part they've been engaged, you know, and we they work. I mean we work. 
um, we got to do a lot of stuff in the cage, you know, every single day, and, and they're putting the time in. So, um, and it, but they love it. You know, they come in there, and it's it's, it's a fun session with each and every guy. You know, um, and again, they're working. But you know, and I, I can see that the results are, are getting better every time they play. When you say when you say how do you feel next? Because what, what exactly does that? What exactly does that mean? It has to show up when you swing it. That makes sense. Yeah, so you know, when we talk about using his legs, he's got to get his buttocks underneath him and not out. You know, sometimes you drift and you're out like this. So we're trying to get his, his lower half underneath him so when he stays back and goes back, he can use his legs and drive the ball better. So um, it's something that, you know, we, I mean, we've been working on with him for a while, um, and he's starting, he's really starting to get it. So and he's starting to use his lower half better.